In this movie, we will show you the different inference for CDV40B and DPM42B due to magnetic field and electric field. In preparation, we are applying the gauges onto the cantilever and connect the lead wires with each amplifiers. Then, we connect each gauges to CDV40B and DPM42B. Next, we prepare a magnet to see the effect of the magnetic field. Place the plastic plate so that the distance between the magnet and both lead wires is constant, and move the magnet on it. When the magnet is moved on the both lead wire, the noise appears on the CDV side greatly. But we can see DPM is not being influenced by a magnetic field. This trial shows that magnetic field does not affect the measurement with carrier wave type amplifier DPM. Next, we generate an electric field around the lead wires. We are placing the plastic board on both lead wires in the same way as the last trial. We are switching on and off the electric field to confirm the effect. As a result, the DC type amplifier CDV is affected, but there is no influence for carrier wave type DPM. We are wrapping an aluminum foil around the lead wire of the gauge to make an electrostatic shield. The effect of the electrostatic shield cannot be found only by wrapping. Now connect the ground with the aluminum foil. And you can see connecting the shield with the grounding has improved the measurement in the electric field. Next, we explain the countermeasure against the magnetic field. We are preparing two units of DC type amplifier and connect the string gauges one by one. Now, you can see that the noise is added in the same way when you move the magnet on these two lead wires. Next, we try to twist one of the lead wires well. It should be well twisted, as you see on the movie. The red line on the upper graph indicates the lead wire, which is not being twisted. And the green line on the lower graph shows the twisted lead wire. We are preparing the magnet and move it on the lead wire of the gauge to change the magnetic field range. As you can see on the monitor, you can see the effect of the magnetic field is greatly reduced by twisting wire. Next, we will explain if the influence of the electric field can be reduced when the lead wire is twisted. Now, we are making electric field on a flat bead wire in a twisted lead wire. As you can see on the monitor, Twisting the lead wire has no effect on the electric field. Finally, we explain the countermeasure against the electric field and the magnetic field. We try to change one lead wire to L13N. We are preparing a magnet and move it over the two lead wires to change the magnetic field. As shown on the monitor, L13 is found to be effective against magnetic field. Next, we are applying the electric field onto two lead wires. At this time, L13 is connected with the ground. Then, we find out L13 is also effective to an electric field. As a conclusion, we find that it is effective to both a magnetic field and electric field by changing the lead wire to L13.